Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the Technical Trader. It's Tuesday, March 16th, and these are the charts of the day. Um, alphabetically, as usual, starting off with Acme Packet, which we've been uh, high on since the big price volume breakaway gap here and following flag. The stock has moved from 13 to 18.84 uh, today, jumping 92 cents or another 5%. Um, the stock continues to move higher within the confines of a narrower channel inside the longer range channel which right now looks like a, a stock that's headed for the mid-20s. Uh, Short-term trading target, uh, 23 and a half or about five, five points from where it is right now. Biotime had a big day today. Notice the base pattern over the last several months. The high volume breakaway today, uh, up $1.62 or 28% on 5 million shares. That's huge volume for that stock. Um, the long-range rising channel calls for a move that can take this to about the 13 and a half level. Very big percentage gain over the course of the next few weeks, potentially, but I'll give it a short term trading target around nine, nine and a half. Kellen Petroleum, a former portfolio position that we exited uh, up in this zone, pulled back, then consolidated quietly, and has now spiking up again, up 53 cents or 13.3 percent today. One and a half million shares, heaviest volume in a week. Stock um, has held its rising moving averages. At this point, looks like it's headed for a test of the um, five, five and a quarter level short term, but uh, on the longer term basis, this stock looks like it can continue to move higher. CVVT, China Valves Technology, broke out of a, the apex of a wedge two days ago, paused yesterday and today, um, popped uh, another dollar thirty-five or ten percent on nearly a million shares. You can see this cluster of volume and technical surging. The stock looks like it wants to tag the top of this channel up around the. This is a 16, 16 and a half area, something of that nature, my short-term trading target. But this is at all-time high territory, and uh, this stock could accelerate and really start to move in this range. Las Vegas Sands, LVS, had a significant session today. Let's take a look at the overall pattern. The big move in July through September took it from about under 6 to over 20. The stock then went into a 5 or 6 month, um, about a 6 month consolidation base pattern. Uh, with multiple tops in the 1920 zone today, jumping a dollar 37 or 7.3 percent on 42 million shares. With a thrust in technicals, the stock looks like it's breaking out, closing just a nickel off the high for the day, going away. This to me looks like it has legs. Short term trading target 23.4, longer term intermediate target in the high 20s. MAP Pharmaceuticals. Um, is, is moving up to the retest of January, February highs in his zone. It appears to want to break out. It uh, reversed a uh, dollar today, closed up 60 cents, and uh, the stock appears to have a potential of a short term pop, which uh, could ride this one up to the high teens, maybe even 20, a short term trading target. <clears throat> PLX Technologies portfolio position after popping on Thursday, settled in on Friday and again today with a narrow rate trading day, but today closed at the high for the day going away. Um, volume is still rather low. Technicals are holding up very well. I expect this little mini flag to result in a thrust that takes us to the seven and a quarter half area short term. Pixelworks, also a portfolio position we just entered into. Keep broke out of the flag. It's been edging higher, but looks like it could spike up towards the $6 range short term. I my trading target there on a long-term basis, you'll see that the major rising channel um, and lateral price resistance coming in, come in in the 9.5-10 range. That's more than a double from here. But we'll extend the 6 range, with the secondary target about 8, um, and then a, a longer-term target in 9.5-10 as indicated. <coughs> Qualcomm acting very well, beautiful one-year base, up against the uh, August-September highs, um, flag just above them. And then today spiked out of that flag, jumping 46 cents or nearly 7% on a million shares. That's the biggest volume of the week. Technicals look very strong. I think the stock could make it to 7 3 quarter range short term, maybe tomorrow, or the next couple of days anyway. And then looking for additional moves to take out the or test the December, January highs up in the uh, $10 range. <clears throat> Radware, RDWR, continues to move up strongly in a beautiful rising channel. Bear, bull flag after bull flag, and now today the stock accelerated up 68 cents. Um, on the biggest volume in, in three weeks, looks like the top of the channel is um, beckoning at around the 20 and a half, 21 range. 
And then well, let's just keep it a short-term trading target up around 21 and a half. <clears throat> Beyond that, um, you'll see that um, we're looking at targets in the 28 and 31 range back at the 0405 highs. RXII had a, had a, has been looking real good of late. After breaking out of a two-month sideways trading range narrow coil type pattern, volume popped, pulled back, reversed yesterday, had another update today, but more importantly, it's closing, uh, it closed at a new new closing high today, um, and uh, with somewhat res some some resistance up around 715, you may see it uh, hesitate there, but uh, we have a target around $10 at the top of the channel on RXII. Virus said VRUS had a big day today, as you can see, breaking out of this trading range of several months with the price volume surge after the big run in May through September. That consolidation was healthy, but the price volume surge today of 240 or 10 percent on 570,000 shares, the heaviest volume in about four months, significant enough to maybe carry the stock higher uh, and test the um, 08 spike highs in the um, low to mid 30s. A short-term target, 29, secondary target, let's call it 34.5. <clears throat> XFN, interesting one-year base pattern has developed with two spikes here and here. Currently, however, the volume is extremely heavy. Technicals are surging. The stock popped, pulled back, and then today broke out with a breakaway gap today. It's high today at 178, equaled right near the high of May. And um, any additional price progress here, the stock could run up towards the two and three quarters three zone and maybe as high as 380 sec uh, secondary target. And lastly, XRTX um, setting up for a nice move again after breaking out of this coil or wedge. It spiked up on a price breakaway gap on big volume, pulled back over the last six, seven days. Today, the volume picked up. The stock jumped 63 cents. It looks like it's wanting to break out of the um, mini flag it's in. But the long term trading target is now in the mid 30s. That's more than a double with a short-term target around 23, 3.5. That's it for tonight. There's some ideas for you going forward. We'll see what happens.